I saw something on the 12th of August 2022. That is 2022. I saw something. I saw this vision. Now in the vision, I saw uh, I saw two things. This vision was about the dead and death. It was about death and the dead. And what I saw was um, in the vision, I found myself at the hospital. And the place was a very huge a hospital facility, very huge. It is very huge. I saw myself over there. And I saw a lot of people dead, yet alive. You get what I'm saying now? These were dead people, people who were outside their body. They have been buried. I saw some relatives of some of us. Yes, I saw relatives of some of us. Others, I don't know. Now, according to the vision, there were people who were worried and unhappy. These were dead people. But they are in the spirit realm. They were worried. They were not happy. Now, now, the worst people were the ones who did not die in Christ. They were not happy. Although at that time, there hadn't been any judgment on them. But they didn't even know that they were dead. So in a dream, I was talking to them. That they had died. And one of them even said to me, Is it true? I said, Yes. Why can't you go back to your body? He said, Yes, that is the problem. I can't go back to my body. And all the people I saw died before their time. They were complaining. That why did it die before their time? So I was telling them what has happened to them is dangerous. So I had to talk to some of them. I was telling them these were the ways I was speaking in the vision. I told them what has happened to them is death. They are no more among the living. They have come to the permanent place of their lives. They were asking, what is this place? And I told them, this is the place where you no longer have the relationship with the living. And over here, you don't repent. You can't change your mind. You can't regret and then be given another chance. Everything about you has come to an end here. So whatever you used to be is what you are over here. So one of them started crying. And I'm doomed. He happened to be a military man. I said, I, didn't, I don't know anything about this. I said, yes. That is what happens when we die. Now, I saw certain people who were crying over their daughter who was on admission. And uh, they were worried, I told them. If they don't pray against death, they will lose the award. And they were like, but the doctors are attending to her. And I said, have you seen those people over there? And I was I don't see them. I said, okay. There are people who have died and have regretted. If you don't pray, this one will also regret. So pray for this one that he wouldn't die. Now, 
after talking to the woman, I saw a group of people on my right side who were also sitting down worried. They were all dead people. But they were alive in the spirit realm. And one of them was like, I don't even know how I came here. Then I was telling the person, you are dead. This is your final destination. Life over here cannot be changed. We, we don't repent here. We don't regret here. You can regret, but it doesn't it doesn't add up anything. Your life has come to an end. You only had one chance to live. And this life was the life you were having once on earth, whilst you were in the body. So whatever you are whether good or bad you can't change then the person started crying and the word was like ah. then death is painful I said death is not painful but the inability to have access to your human body is more painful than death. I said, you can't go into your body. Say, yes, I saw my body, but I wasn't able to go into it. I wasn't able to enter my own body. Now listen to this interesting thing. This person and the people over there were worried that they had died before their time. So when I said that it, the most painful aspect of death is your inability to get access to your own human body. Again, they were like, yes, it is true. I wish I wish I, I can go back. But I don't have any access. I say, yes, this is how it is. This is what it is. And this is how it's going to be. Then I was brought from those people to another ward. And suddenly I saw the relatives of um, the young girl crying. Then I heard one relative says, she's dead. She's dead. Suddenly, I started hearing another person crying. Other people crying. My relative is dead. He's dead. She's dead. He's dead. And it was like, death, 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 death. People were dying like that. In the dream, according to the vision, when they saw me, they even thought I was also a spirit, like a ghost. I said, I'm not dead. I am alive. I see everything that is happening. I am here to know something so that I can live. So one of the people who had died came to me. I want to talk to somebody who is living. Are you like those people who, who can become a medium for us to talk through to other people. I said, I'm not here for that. I am here for information. Your time is up. You can't do anything about it. You are dead. Now, from there, all I had was death. Death, 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 death. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 